Hello folks, this is A Automotive Reviews. You never guess where Ford wants to put the Bronco turn scene. The trail sights on the 2021 Ford Bronco, those angular tie downs, brackets at the front of the vehicle that looks vaguely reminiscent of the first generation Bronco peaky, I would say peaky front fenders. Don't use that word too often. As you can see it here, folks. They aren't just for show. They can take loads of up to 150 pounds. And while that's not a lot, it's enough that owners will be able to use them to help secure rooftop loads and mount auxiliary lights. Not to mention stringing up limb risers, cables to keep tree limbs from smacking into the windshield off-road. But those trail sites might be more than a one-trick pony. It turns out, as a new patent for Ford suggests, the company is taking a look at integrating other functions into the fender-mounted brackets. Boy, what a nice SUV this is. And there it is right here, folks. You see the, um, the line to stop the, um, the tree limbs from smacking and cracking your windshield. What a nice setup. Now, the patent shared to the Bronco 6G forum by the user Bronco Bookaroo depicts alternate versions of those trail sites with turn signals and other indicators integrated. The patent specifically highlights the possibility of incorporating the front and side facing turn signals into trail sites, which could in theory eliminate the need to place those elements within the arrangement of grill lights. But things get even more interesting as another section of the pattern raises the possibility of integrating a light facing toward the cabin. For the purpose of indicating something to the driver, alternatively, a multi-pixel display showing ladders, numbers, or symbols. Specific examples of what the cabin facing indicator could display include which turn signal is active, battery state of charge, and battery recharge status according to the patent. Take a look at this. These are all the different patents and the corresponding numbers for the patents. What you see here in figure six. Just take a closer look at that. Now what you see here is the lens what people will see from the front view of the 2021 Ford Bronco. And again, the corresponding patents. And here's the side angle. In case you missed it, there's still more evidence that a Ford Bronco hybrid might indeed be coming. A prospect that was first of all just seemingly by accident at an official Ford video showing off the Bronco's new digital instrument panel. The video was subsequently removed and all evidence of it was scrubbed. All things considered, it's not clear when or indeed if Ford might introduce such a trail sight to the new 6th generation Ford Bronco. We'll be keeping our eye out to see what's up next, folks. As you can see, forward and rearward visibility.
And as you can see here, what appears to be a lens. And get, this is about to be giving you information as far as charge. Guys, after 25 years of market absence, the legendary Ford Bronco has made its triumphant return for 2021. But unlike the original, there's now going to be what you see here is a four door version available alongside the traditional two door body style. Not only is the 2021 Bronco a suitable daily driver, but it can tackle just about any off-road situation. And Ford has gone to great lengths to ensure this with tons of optional equipment. In fact, there are more than 200 factory-backed aftermarket accessories, including the lights and the lighting that you get with this. I mean, it's the optional lighting for when you're going off-road. Some things are important to know. The Ford Bronco is unmistakably, with its classic boxy shape and round headlights, Ford need to include similar designs in the new Bronco if they wanted to succeed as much as its predecessor. Now we've got a few inklings of what the 2021 Ford Bronco lights will be capable of. It definitely seems that the new Bronco will be done and has, and everybody knows about the circular lights. Um, the signature round headlights, which is awesome. We all know about it. We all seen it. The ember reflectors that might be the turn signal indicators. But this pattern sort of brings it more clear that it might be the handles that you see here will incorporate the lighting, which makes sense, folks. So there's a lot about the Ford Bronco that's mysterious still. And that what and that what makes it, you know, top notch. We need to be kept up in the progression of this retro style, beautifully made SUV. Combined with the uh, retro exterior, a fully modern interior. In removable doors and roof, the Bronco represents a new beginning of off-roading for Ford. Its affordable base price makes it accessible to millions of anxious, bu anxious buyers, many of whom have been waiting years to see the day. But the big question remains, will the new Bronco put a significant dent into the Wrangler sales? Of course it will. Of course it will with its rugged, with it's more rugged looking than the Wrangler. It looks like a bruiser and the Wrangler looks tough too, but this just takes it up an extra notch. But it's tough, tough as nails. Ford certainly stayed true to his old Bronco styling, but added plenty of modern touches. The flat no-nonsense surfaces, clear-cut edges and square proportions. It also features a wide stance enhanced by flare fenders, quick release attachments to make customization easy. Ford Blue Oval is absent on the front grille and you see the straight up Bronco. This is something spectacular folks. We're talking about 11.6 inch ground clearance as you can see here. A set of 35 inch tires which is available. The two door has a removable three section roof while the four door has a four section roof. Now a cloth roof is also standard. This one has the hard top, which is an option. This is spectacular, folks. And let's get back to that. Uh... Get back to the highlights of that pattern. The, the pattern with the tie down brackets integrated turn signals and emit forward facing lights that's definitely going to be nice so there's a there's a lot to expect about this Ford Bronco and there's a lot to there's a lot to talk about
Now, of course, when the, when the Bronco first come out, you know, we expect to be recalls. There expect to be issues. I mean, you got to anticipate that. So when you wait for your Bronco and you get on the road, you're going to anticipate little things. There might be some things. But you know what? I think Ford customer service is going to rise to the occasion. And they're going to fix that. They've been working with this for a while. So it's nothing to worry about, folks. As far as um, these are just things to worry about, things to think about. As far as when you're considering the Ford Bronco. But the technology, now the Bronco interior, as you can see here, is definitely rugged. It has a rugged theme, but it also has every necessary modern piece of technology. You're talking about the goat modes, you're talking about the, um, the navigation, everything is set up for you to have an adventurous experience. So this is going to be off the chain, folks. And I hope this explain, explain to you guys about the patent and what to expect. This just open up our eyes to the new things that Ford is doing, that they're doing with the Bronco. And it's coming out with the patents. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And thanks for your support. This is AI Automotive Review. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.